The beautiful prairie pothole region of North Dakota, South Dakota, and Montana serves as breeding grounds for millions of migratory birds and other nesting waterfowl. But a recent regional trend of conversion to cropland has prompted the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Natural Resources Conservation Service, or NRCS, to commit up to $35 million to help landowners restore wetlands and grasslands. This is all voluntary conservation. NRCS's Associate Chief of Operations, Tom Christensen, says the financial and technical assistance will benefit wildlife conservation and landowner incentives over a three-year period. Exactly right. The most important uh, party in all of this is the private landowner, and they're the decision maker. What we're trying to do is to work with those landowners that voluntarily want to retain those wetlands and grasslands and not convert them to cropland. It all is about partnerships helping that private landowner. Much of the funding will be available through the Environmental Quality Incentives Program and the Ducks Unlimited NRCS Partnership for Carbon Credits. In fact, NRCS is working with North Dakota, South Dakota, and Montana to create a carbon credit marketing system for landowners who agreed to avoid tilling grasslands. Our role, along with the other partners, is to provide them the right kinds of technical information, technical assistance, financial assistance, incentives, those packages of things that hopefully will lead them to the right conservation decisions. Meanwhile, the 2014 Farm Bill has expanded opportunities for conserving grasslands and wetlands, including those of the Prairie Pothole region. For more information, contact your local NRCS office or visit nrcs.usda.gov. In Washington, Kim Betton, U.S. Department of Agriculture, Natural Resources Conservation Service.